NASA study to save world from Yellowstone eruptions packed warning could be too late. What's up guys? Welcome back to Mystery Truth. Yellowstone volcano was at the center of an exploratory study to save the world from a super eruption, which later sparked a warning that it could be too late if action was not taken. The caldera was formed during the last three big events, the Huckleberry Ridge eruption 2.1 million years ago, the Mesa Falls eruption 1.3 million years ago, and the Lava Creek eruption approximately 630,000 years ago. Located below Yellowstone National Park, the area is constantly monitored by the United States Geological Survey USGS for signs that history could repeat itself researchers previously came up with the 3.7 billion dollar that is 2.7 billion pounds plot to cool the super volcano by drilling into the hydrothermal system the program dubbed defending human civilization from super volcanic eruptions started in 2015 at the nasa jet proportions laboratory in california the idea was to drill a ring around the magma chamber then begin circulating water gradually moving closer to the center this would hypothetically release pressure from the magma plume and cool it down rosalie lopez a volcanologist who worked on the study said in 2017 the yellowstone volcano has the potential to really wreak havoc this was just to start thinking if it is feasible to use the technology we have now to cool a magma chamber and therefore prevent an eruption she emphasized it was never a concrete plan more of an exploratory study but dr michael poland scientist in charge of this yellowstone volcano observatory rebuked nasa studies at that time he said it's fun to think about however the science isn't there and the idea is fraught with other problems yellowstone park geologist jefferson hugerford added we as humans don't have the capacity at this moment to stop a big volcano from erupting. How would we stop an eruption? The underlying premise here is to take the energy out of the system, that energy being heat, and we can't do that right now. But not everyone agreed that it was a, it was a bad idea in principle. Campi, Flegre, and Mount Vesuvius in Italy are studied by Dr. Luca Siena, who is also a professor at the Department of Geology and Petroleum Geology at Aberdeen University. They stated that the NASA plan is probably less risky than what has been done in the past at Campi Flegre, where a well was drilled near to the city. He added, because the egg is very hot and high pressured, the drilling didn't go well. After 500 meters, the well broke. Despite this, he is still a fan of researchers looking into ways to minimize the risks posed by super volcanoes. He said, we have to do much more than what we are doing now to try and prevent a super volcanic eruption. These volcanoes are going to do something one day and this could be in, in 100 years, in 1000 years or even 10,000 years. We expect still to be on the earth in 10,000 years and if we don't do something to decrease the stress of this volcano, we won't be able to survive on the surface of the earth. It is not a problem that we may experience tomorrow in one year or 100 years but it is surely a problem that if we don't tackle now it could be too late. Over the years there have been many unsupported claims that the volcano is overdue an eruption after the average time between such events were calculated. But Dr. Poland suggested that the hotspots may be in a state of decline during the USGS recent update on their channel. He said the magma chamber beneath Yellowstone is only about 5 to 15% molten, 
so it doesn't have enough to generate one of these big explosion explosions over the last 15 years or so since the last ice age we know from the geology of yellowstone lake that yellowstone has mostly gone down in fact it's gone down by a net of 30 meters almost 100 feet over that time period so there is no pressure and there is really no magma to feed one of these really big explosions even yellowstone did erupt on a schedule the mat still doesn't work out dr poland went on to dissect the numbers put forward before detailing his own calculation he said now occasionally you hear that there are 600,000 years or so between Yellowstone eruption and the last one was 631,000 years ago. Well, the last part of that's the only part true. 631 years ago, Yellowstone caldera, the red line right there that formed, but before that was the Henry Folk caldera, this green curve right there. That was about 1.3 million years ago, and before that was this purple line that outlined the Huckleberry Ridge caldera, and that was 2.1 million years ago. If you look at the time period between those, the average eruption interval between these er explosions is actually 725,000 years or so, which means that actually we have another 100,000 years or so to go. So, guys so many things keep happening so many eruption um prospective eruption so to say that might probably happen in the nearest future and if it's not acted upon if things are not being done to curb the situation or to prevent the situation a lot of things might go wrong in the nearest future so i think it's right now for us to start looking into it and for us to look for ways to curb those problem those hazardous problem um do you think there's a possible ways they can be able to use to stop the problem if you have any idea or what can be done in this present situation kindly leave it in the comment section thank you very much for always coming by and stopping by to watch our youtube videos it's a pleasure having you here and listening to us Please do contribute and don't forget to share this video, like, subscribe, turn on notification bell icon to get notified on when next new videos are uploaded on this YouTube channel. See you next time.